What's up guys, Sparky here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create custom cages for baking within X Normal. We'll be using Maya and X Normal to bake, however it can be applied to any baking program like Substance or Nald. So what is a cage? A cage is a piece of geometry, uh, like this on the left, which is normals pushed out from your low poly model uh, to encapsulate the entirety of your high poly. The goal of a cage is to encapsulate all of your high poly sculpt so none of it is poking through. If it pokes through, for example, like this, you'll get errors on your normal map and ambient occlusion and it won't look clean. So what is the difference between baking with and without cages? So this is the example of a normal map baked out from X normal without the use of a custom cage. As you can see with the beard and the hair, uh, there's some errors where it's not been able to capture the normal data. If I go over to my baked out normal that I used a custom cage with, you can see these errors are gone. Uh, there's still some issues around the mouth, but they can be cleaned up later as well. So how is a custom cage made? So first off in Maya, bring in your high poly sculpt and also bring in your low poly unwrapped on top of it. Now, I like to make sure that this is a different colour. Um, I tend to go for green because it's nice and bright. And you want to go into vertex mode and select all of the vertices. Now, as a base, if you hold control, the middle mouse button and push out, it will start to inflate these vertices out. Now you want to push them out a little bit until it starts to see areas in the mouth, the vertices are going in uh, to each other, you just kind of want to stop there. So the aim of this is to push these vertices out until all of the grey is hidden. However, the vertices must be pushed out in the normal direction. So to do this, you click on a vertice, you hold control, and again, middle click in and push out. So you want to go through the entire model and push out all of the vertices manually until all of the grey is hidden. Especially with areas like the mouth, you can see here that some of the vertices have pushed through the geometry. Now this is going to come up with errors and this is why errors appear when you let the program uh, calculate your cage uh, itself. So you can go into wireframe mode, click the points and just kind of bring them back a little bit making sure the grey is still covered but that it's not pushing through uh, other parts of the cage. So once you've done all of that and gone through the entire model uh, you'll get a cage that looks a bit like this one it covers the entire model like this. Now you can already tell from this cage that this is going to get a really nice bake. Uh, there's no vertices intersecting with each other and the entire high poly is encapsulated. So once your cage is finished, you want to select the cage, make sure it's in object mode, go up to edit, delete all by type and delete all the history. You now want to click on modify and freeze the transformations before exporting and just export this out as an OBJ. So coming into X normal, you want to click on high definition meshes and bring in your high poly sculpt. Uh, low definition meshes, you want to bring in your unwrapped low poly and then right click on this and browse external cage file. So this is where you bring in your cage that you just made and click on OK. So this warning is why we push the vertices out on the normal, uh, otherwise it will not bake out correctly and it will come up with errors. So in baking options, uh, I tend to put the pattern down a little bit. Uh, set where you want it to export, the size you want, and normal, and whatever other maps you'd like to render, and then just click on generate maps. And it's as easy as that. Nice clean bakes for both normal map and for me I took out the ambient occlusion as well. 
So I've just hopped into Marmoset Toolbag 3 to check how those maps look and you can already see it's looking much nicer than the one shown earlier in the video. If I just put on the normal map from earlier, you can see these errors on the beard that aren't, yeah, they don't look very good.